Hello, Doom here, and this is episode 9 of my Minecraft world. And today we're going to continue with the witch farm, doing the rest of it now. Still a lot of stuff to do. And things have changed. We've got to talk about the witch farm. Digging has started. And other things. And we've started to build it now, which we're going to work on. I'll continue working on this. The, the, the top now that we need to do and all the other stuff. And talk about some stuff. And I guess we can start, I guess, with the witch farm as I build this, which I've already started, simple design, which I may stick with, it may actually change, because I may actually use this or something, and I may change it a little bit, but we'll come to that later, because I want to recap some of the stuff from last episode, with my witch farm being broken, as we know, uh, it's supposed to have three platforms now, there's supposed to be three spawning pads, and now there's only two, as we know, and I thought it was a mistake I made, which it was, but then I fixed it. I didn't rebuild it because I figured that'd be stupid because if it was just broken I didn't want to rebuild it and it ends up still not working so I did check out MC Edit and MC Edit's actually improved it's a improved program now which I'm doing this rod I don't want to miss out it seems that we got like a rod up there go to Y150 it seems that there are more people working on MC Edit now and it's got improved they actually do have a version in 1.8 and it you know, it seems to work well, so I, I did. I took this. I took this one to MC Edit. One, two. And I selected all the witch farm and I moved it down by one, and which is what I thought I needed to do. And the top platform, oh, stupid mouse. The top platform still spawned normal mobs. And I don't know why. So I took it into MC Edit again. And moved it down by one again and then for some reason the bottom floor started spawning normal mobs which doesn't make sense because that would be at y64 and that's still within range of the apparent spawning box that didn't make sense to me so i've just figured i've come to the conclusion that this witch farm for whatever reason isn't up to the new standards i suppose doesn't have the new spawning box which i don't understand why because I did start this world in a 1.8 snapshot, 1.8.1 snapshot, and I'm pretty sure in the snapshots they fixed the witch farm, they improved the witch farm to have the better, the improved spawning box. I may have gone too far here. Hope no one has a fear of heights watching my videos. Uh, that's probably the right way to go. And jump. Watch me hit a lily pad and die. Okay, we're fine. So. I've just kind of accepted that this is just broke. I don't know why it's like that. But it's okay because that will just be overkill. Which, which farms are OP anyway with just two platforms? I've already had a double chest full of stuff. And I've been doing most of my work down here. There's all this, you know, Once I've got this set up and I'm AFK up there and I've dug out all this perimeter. I'm going to get so much stuff. This is going to be complete overkill. And three platforms is a bit much. I'm actually surprised. I was surprised when I heard that. that they said they that these farms um how am i doing this oh crap that the witch farm the the spawning box was wrong and they've they've changed it and improved it and we can now get free platforms i'm surprised they did that because they they were at one point on a war against farms of this nature but they didn't want them they were trying to nerf them and now suddenly they're like oh we can actually make improvements to this one and we can you can, you can now get more stuff from it. It's it's complete flip flop. I I didn't. There was no real need. If it was wrong, I suppose that's fine. But which farms already work fine with two platforms? There was no real need to make it bigger. If even if that was what it was supposed to be like or not, there really was no need to do that because it's already overkill with two platforms. So you know it's. I'll just deal with it. We'll just have two platforms, and it'll once I've got this all set up and working, and I've dug out all the perimeter, which hopefully I will this week. Maybe then this episode we'll be able to see it. Um crap, how's this go now? Don't get confused. This once I've done all that, this witch farm will be completely fine. So So we've had issues. I tried fixing it. Turns out I can't fix it and yeah that, that's alright. We will just go on with it and just keep building it and it'll still look epic. And work just fine with two platforms. Alright, anyway, so moving on just going to keep building this. I'm just going to do some building while I actually talk about stuff because I know I've got to recap again. Uh, talking about 
YouTube and stuff. I'm I'm feeling a bit better right now, and I'm I'm, I'm not gonna stop. I, I I enjoy doing this. It's just you know the single player may slow down a little bit. I wanted to try and do these once a week at least on Saturdays, but you know Minecraft's very grindy, and I may have ambitions to do other Minecraft stuff uh, in the new year if all goes well and all goes to plan. Um, and the single player will always stay, of course, and but it just means I can just probably work a bit harder on actually doing bigger projects in the episodes and then if I have to wait a little bit hopefully I can then have the episode where I actually do something bigger and better more stuff like this, this like witch farm oh crap I went up too far and, bas and basically what I'm trying to say is I guess focus on getting to the big projects and all the other projects I want to make instead of focusing too hard on actually uh, trying to get an episode out every week I can just you know plan better for the bigger episodes and the bigger projects which I'm looking forward to there's some some good stuff that I want to build that I've got in my mind that I want to get down and okay it'll be pretty pretty nice let's actually do a bit more wood here so there's a lot coming to look forward to I suppose and um I've got other games I want to play. I've actually got I've actually got a couple of games that I found I want to play. I need to record them in the new year and see if they actually work out with my commentary and my my throat is starting to go very croaky right now. Um, my commentary style and my personality, but they should work out. They're like some pretty fun games. You know, one of them will replace the Escapist. Once I did, I just do two two lots of wood. No, I didn't. Because when I escape from this one prison I'm at. I'm actually gonna let's actually go down and sleep because I want it to be night time. Oh don't hit a lily pad, even though I got feather falling boots. That uh, may still kill me. But yeah, I'll have a break from the escapist once I've escaped from this one prison I'm on and then play another game to take its place as a doomful play. And another game as well and all that stuff. So I still got a stuff on, on the YouTube. I'm still gonna Yeah, you're you're supposed to be in the farm, which Oh, it's Christmas as well. It's actually New Year's Eve that I'm recording this little segment. So it's not quite Christmas yet, but yeah, Merry Christmas. I'm probably going to say that again in several, several episodes. Which... Um, I want some more stuff. I need some more materials. But everything's fine. I, I was feeling really... I've been feeling really down in these months. That's that it kind of... I felt like it was going to affect my YouTube. That, that's all it really is. Because I don't want to be doing these when I'm feeling sad and down because I'm now showing the video. But yeah, I haven't really been enjoying this last month or so. I'm winter blues, I guess. Just another mood swing, I suppose. Just feeling just one of those periods. And it's been it's been a bit difficult. Uh, some more andesite. Loads of andesite. Loads of supplies from digging out all this stuff. Loads of raw stone and dirt. Couple more of these. So a lot of stuff. I moved the andesite separate, so I knew just to easy to get it. But yeah, I've talked about it before in previous videos that I sorted out my sleep schedule. I forgot when it was, but I've mentioned it a few times where I was. I managed to start going to bed a bit earlier and a more reasonable time to actually get everything I needed. Yeah, I think I did. And then I should probably get ladders. That actually might help. Yeah, ladders. That actually helped me get up and down. And then you know, going to bed at a reasonable time. And then I was able to get up actually get up early. And then give me plenty of time to do things during the day. But in this last month, I've just been struggling to go to sleep, going to bed a bit later. And then I'm getting up, getting up later, and it's just pretty bad. And then this last this week in particular has been the worst of it. It's just been so hard going to sleep. I'm going to bed in the early morning and then just lying in bed for hours, not being able to get to sleep. And then I've set my alarm a bit later just so I can have an extra hour or so in bed so I can actually get a few hours of sleep when I finally do get to sleep. And then when I wake up, I end up just not getting out of bed just find it so difficult to get out of bed just lying in bed for another hour after I've woken up and it's it's not fun I don't I don't like it but it all 
it'll it'll pass. It's ugh, don't like it. I mean, it helps that I have an understanding. I do sort of understand a bit of why I feel the way I do sometimes, but it still doesn't make it easy. But <laughs> well, I, I manage, and there are still things in life that I can enjoy that make me happy, which is good. But it's just not been a good month, I suppose. But I'm fine, and the YouTube stuff's gonna stay. I'll, I'll be still doing the New Year's. I've got the, I've got plans and ideas that I wanna do in the new games that I've got, and everything's gonna be great. Why am I? Why is it not placing? Wow, what was that not place? I was, I swear I was right clicking, then it wasn't placing the block. Oh, I'm too far. And uh, what else do I wanna talk about? Oh Christ. I still do that thing where, like, a half an hour before I plan to record, I end up it ends up going through my head all the things I'm going to say, and then when it comes to actually do the recording, I always forget a lot of stuff I was going to talk about. Um, and I feel like there was something else I wanted to say. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> there was something else I was going to say, and I can't. I'm pretty sure there was. But instead of dwelling on it here now, uh, instead I'll just end uh, this little section and actually do the stuff because I've got a few redstone things that I've got to set up. Yeah, but I guess I can talk about what I'm actually going to do. I can finish this later. It's just you know stacking up. You can see we actually have a good look at what I've done so far. I guess uh, down we go. So we've got here. This is one of the legs, and I may use it as one of the item elevators actually. But I may have just two item elevators for the witch farm drops. Which I did mark out there, but I may move them to the side now. But that's one of the sort of beams. I've done the back end, haven't I? So it's kept back there. But this is one of the legs, I suppose, that are holding it up. We're just going to go right to the top. And then we're going to have something at the top of there, the AFK, and where the items all get sorted. What I'm going to work on now is what's known as a Woolly Vator. A guy called Woolly Creeper on the Hypergrass server. He made a... Elevator, which is probably one of the best you can get because it works so flawlessly in both single player and multiplayer. Using you sit in a minecart and you press a button and it, it shoots you up with slime blocks. And I'm going to stick that here, I think. Yes. So that's what I'm going to work on now. And then we've got two at the side where there's going to be the item elevators they're going to shoot the items up so I'm going to get working on that and we can come back and do some more design in a second And I'm back. And there may have been some clips of mobs just jumping about because I just felt like adding them in. There were just things I that happened when I was doing stuff around here that I just recorded for random reasons. I have no idea why. But I'm back. And it's Christmas is gone. It's a few days now since I recorded the first bit. It's now Boxing Day. Well, actually, looking at the time, it's actually 1am, so it's the 27th. So it's been a few days. Christmas is, is done and gone. I hope everyone had a good Christmas. I did. It's quite enjoyable. Christmases are nice and quiet nowadays. There's a nice small dinner with family and it's it's quite nice and I enjoy it. But Christmas is all done and gone now for this year and I'm done with this for now. Oh, I've actually noticed a bit I haven't actually done. Well, I did all that. I need to get more materials anyway. <laughs> we'll just pretend that's done. Pretend that side's done. Pretend I didn't point it out. Don't, don't notice it. It's the same as everything else. 
But yeah, I need to get more materials, and I, I wanted to try and get the all of it done, but I've got that bit up there to do. And I'd like to... I'd like to figure out the... How I'm going to direct all the items and do the sorting system before I actually build the thing up there. And I've just, I've just run out of time. I want to get this, record this little segment here where I show you the things that have been done. And then this will be ready to be uploaded tomorrow. Or more like later today now. Um, so, yeah, the perimeter, I've done the main bit. All that is done. That was the main chunk of it, really. That was the bother, bothersome part. I think the rest of it is mainly dirt, which I can just dig out with shovels, obviously. But essentially of the perimeter, I think it's just... I've done little, other little bits here and there, but I think the major bit that's left is just the corners. That corner, that corner, and that corner, and that's done. And that's that should be easy, because I've done most of it. And there isn't as much stone left anymore, so I can just rip through it with a shovel. Which is good. And over here, what I was working on... I'm hearing weird audio. I hope, I'm not, I hope it's not picking up on the mic. I'm hearing weird, very weird audio. Yeah, we got one of the, I guess it's just a stilt, it doesn't have any other purpose but to be there. And then that's where one of the item elevators are, and another item elevator is going to go over here, which isn't done, because I mentioned I've run out of materials. But I'm also going to be able to demonstrate, we're going to go down in a second and actually demonstrate how this actually works. Cause I've cut out a section here, and there's definitely noise in the flats. I have no idea who's running up and down the stairwell in the flats at 1am, but... I guess it's the holidays. But let's go up the elevator, which I really like. I actually like this. I want to build more of these. I'm going to try and think of other ways to do builds so I can actually build this again. Because this was actually quite nice to build. And it was it was simple. It's actually quite simple how this works and how it was to build. And this is going to be very loud, so I'm going to shut up. Hammer at the top. And then we'll have something nice up here, nice structure where I can just AFK and have a nice sorting area. Which I need to actually build. And the perimeter looks nice. Look, it's mostly water already. Just little little corners left to do. Let's go back down and this I really like this, this woolly vator. It's so much fun. It's just quite enjoyable to use. You just this no noise this time, you just drop all the way down, it's quite nice. See I like I like that. And of course that was made by Woolly Creeper on the Hypercraft server, there'll be a link in the description to the if you want to build it yourself to a tutorial, which is very easy to follow and you'll be able to see that it is very simple to build, it is very simple. And I really like it, so good job Woolly Creeper. And also as well I'll put a video to tutorials of how to make the item elevator as well. The links in the description. I guess we can go down now and show that and give a demonstration of how the item elevator is going to work and then that'll be it then. I have to think what to do for the next episode where I may uh, itchy back <laughs> I may I may just build it and then show it off and then s just for the start and then <laughs> Start working on something new. It's empty. There's stuff in the wick car. I've turned it off now. I put torches on the side. Hopefully that'll stop them from spawning. But I just made chests because it was kind of full. But I used some of the glow stuff. Moved some of the redstone and gunpowder already. And I've sort of turned it off so that the witch is full while I'm actually doing all this. But essentially it's, it's very simple. You just got to feed into a hopper that goes to a dropper and it's just basically a sort of like a clock which as long as there's items in a dropper it will power the compare which will then send power to this and it'll just keep looping back and then it'll cause the uh, items to shoot out and then you can just see ice there with water stream and ice takes it down it goes all the way down here And I'm not exactly sure the whole physics behind the way items on the floor works, but it lines it up in such a way that it ends up going through the fence and then shooting up the glass tube. And now I've got to swim back. Well, that's essentially how it is. 
and I've got to swim back and I'm gonna I'll put some items in here and we can go up top and you can see that they just end up being up there just to just to show evidence of it working but just got the difficult difficult swim because I didn't get depth strider when I enchanted my armor which has been unfortunate okay then let's just uh, that's not going to melt. Yeah, well, the torch has been there anyway. It didn't melt it, so that's okay. That torch can stay there. I haven't left a spawning space. I actually have left a spawning space. <laughs> Forget the torch then. Oh, okay. Um, there may be a torch up there as well. <laughs> but let's put the. Let's just put the granite through. Granite. I don't know. I keep calling it granite. It's not granite. It's granite. Okay, that's working. Let's actually get up the top. And there should be some granite. Nine pieces of granite. And potentially a torch. That I did not mean to put through. But we'll see. Yeah, ladders. They're just not as good as woolly vators. Okay then. It's probably yes. There we go. So it works. And now obviously when it's connected that one works. Uh, of course it's a good way at the top but then we'll have two and it's split in half and then I'm looking forward to getting this finished but I just don't have I've run out of time for this week. Just get this get this ready and out for tomorrow and then see when I get another episode out but as I said I've got other games I mentioned the first part that I'm going to be going to be playing and then these will be when I get a big project done I've really tried but between Christmas I just I was playing as much as I could between all the Christmas stuff and I, I feel like I've done actually quite a lot and I'm quite happy I'm disappointed I didn't get it finished but <laughs> You know how it goes. <laughs> but um yeah. I'm actually happy where this is turning out though. There's still cave noises everywhere. Where the hell are they coming from? I have been finding caves underneath but lighting them up. But there seems to be always what we're gonna get with this world, always there's always gonna be a cave that is like three blocks underneath our feet, wherever we are. But yeah, more progress on the witch farm. We'll get in there. I've done a lot of the contraptions, which ended up actually being quite simple. And I've just got that bit to do next. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And Happy New Year, because it'll be New Year the next time an episode comes out on this world. And I will... If I climb the ladder, I can... I will see you again next time.